Hey guys, there were some huge announcements today regarding the future of Borderlands 3 and new content that's coming. They announced the new skill trees that had been rumored along with some other really amazing stuff. I'll go over all of that. Before I do that, I want to give a huge shout out to 2K Games, Take 2 Interactive, and Gearbox. They sent me this amazing DLC for Psycho Krieg and the fantastic Buster Club collector's piece type of memorabilia and I don't believe you can purchase this anywhere. I think it was just sent to some of us content creators that work closely with the devs and maybe a few other people. But this artwork came in this beautiful box that has artwork on the outside of it that represents the theme of DLC 4. Then it came with a nice little insert describing what it is and then some glasses. They're not 3D glasses. Whenever you put them on, you see a rainbow kaleidoscope effect, which also represents the theme of this DLC. The art piece itself is beautiful. It's solid metal with a gloss finish and you can see the logo there with Tannis and Maya, Psycho Creek, Insane Krieg. You can see Dr. Benedict on the right. They also have Locomobius right behind Tannis. But yeah, this thing is huge. And again, it's metal and the back side of it, you can see it's got some serious support so you can hang it on the wall. But yes, I was very honored to receive this piece when I first saw it and opened it up. I was just blown away. And the cat was not included. But on to the very exciting news that was announced today at Gearbox's PAX Digital Showcase. Gearbox Software and 2K today revealed their plans for the future of Borderlands 3, including full next-gen support, a new skill tree for each Vault Hunter, additional add-on content, additional co-op features which were highly requested, and more. They confirmed today that Borderlands 3 is coming to both Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. If you already own the current-gen version of the game on Xbox One and you're playing on Xbox Series X, you'll receive a free upgrade to the Xbox Series X version. And if you own the game on PlayStation 4, you'll receive a free upgrade to PlayStation 5 version if you're playing on PlayStation 5. This applies to all content you've purchased as well as your saves. You'll be able to bring everything over to the new console generation. On Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 in single player mode, you'll be able to play with 60 frames per second and at 4K resolution. Also, for the first time ever on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, you'll be able to play four player split screen. There's also an option being added for virtual vertical split screen for co-op, and this option will be coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but the four-player split screen is only coming to the new generations. Both of these new features will be added in a future patch that will be free. And even more exciting news, Borderlands 3 will also receive additional add-on content later this year. This will be a paid add-on, and it won't look like the campaign DLCs of the now-complete season pass. It will include a brand new game mode, as well as one new skill tree for each Vault Hunter, and with those new skill trees come new action skills. During this PAX Digital Showcase, Gearbox gave viewers an in-depth look at Flak's new Trapper skill tree. This new skill tree emphasizes shields and survivability for both Flak and their pet, which is good. Flak definitely needs that. Plus, they showed Flak's new action skill called Gravity Snare. The Gravity Snare is a throwable trap that tosses enemies up into the air before slamming them back into the ground. Enemies caught in this radius will have their attacks interrupted, giving Flak a crowd control skill for the first time. Also, Gearbox revealed Flak's latest pet option, a Hyperion Loaderbot. This Loaderbot buddy can be specced in a variety of ways as you work your way down the skill tree. There's a range-based ion loader, which fires slow-moving projectiles that can be shot to create powerful shock novas. There's the Bull Loader, which can charge enemies and knock them into the air with its shield or just roundhouse kick them. Then there's the War Loader, which packs an incendiary shotgun it can toss grenades and unleash homing missiles on command. I cannot wait to mess with builds with this loader bot and see how OP we can get it. They've posted more information about this new skill tree for Flak, and I'll have that link down in the description. As far as when we're going to see all of this new content, they said expect more information on the other skill trees, the new game mode, and all the other content in Borderlands 3's next downloadable add-on in the coming months. And they said next year we may see some news about crossplay. I will definitely keep you guys updated as we hear more, but this is very exciting. I cannot wait to see what this new game mode is. But let me know what you guys think, and we'll see you next video.